Welcome back to another episode. This episode, guys, we are going to be putting a clear coat on the mask. We're going to explain what that clear coat is and why we chose it and how it saved us thousands of dollars. A few of you have been asking why we've been wearing these rings. I'm just kidding, no one's asked. But we're going to share it with you anyway. This ring is called an ultra human ring and what it does is it tracks your sleep and your heart rate. I track my heart rate so as I see Sarah walk into the room my heart starts beating. Oh, Beats for you darling. That's beautiful. Get a sleep score so you see how well you sleep. It also tracks your cycle and it has all these tons of features and we got sent these from the company we aren't getting paid to say this we've been wearing them for like two months and we really like them and if you too would like to try them out there is a link on the screen and a discount code in the description down below we won't hold you up any longer i know you're all hanging to all right. watch this video let's get into it we're an australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime we hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Cutie. Yesterday we drove to Phoenix and we picked up some supplies. One of those things was the Neuralac, the top coat that goes on our mask. We're going to do the final little touches to get the mask ready so we can put the, the top coat on and get the mask ready for our rigging. So we're all going to go down and get into some hard work. It's going to be hot, it's going to be sweaty, but we can do it. So let's go team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay, so we did the other side. I've just flipped it and now we'll do this side. So all we're doing is getting all these tiny little bits and Leah's running the sander over the whole thing. Pretty much how it's gonna look. Or we're just getting all the paint off, that's all. And it's just gonna stay exactly how it is. All that's going on is a clear coat. So how it looks is how it looks, but it's gonna have a protective coat over the top. We'll get the Scotch Brights and the detergent and we'll give it all a rub down the wash. We'll dry it off and then uh, we can rub the nylac over the top. Doing that today? How many coats? Two coats, I think. Two One or three coats. Dries the whole day. We'll have to read the instructions. One. Completely prep the mask, and now the next step is Nylic, is the product that we're using. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but anyway, we butcher a lot of brands' names. Sorry about that because of our accent. We aren't sponsored by these guys. The next step is to use the Simple Prep. It's a Nylec product. So what is Nylec? Nylec is a water clear, flexible, hard coat resin that provides permanent clear coat protection. It's not a wax, paraffin, polish, or any other type of sacrificial coating. When properly applied, it will not yellow, crack, peel, or flake. What does it do? It forms a clear seal to prevent water, dirt and corrosive chemicals from reaching the underlying bare metal. The protective barrier inhabits paint oxidation, metal corrosion, pitting and staining caused by external attacks. So it is supposed to be an incredible product. We're super psyched about putting it on the mask because it's a lot easier than painting. Long term as well. You can just reapply this. You don't have to like strip it back or anything. You can just put it back, put it over on, right? So uh, there was a couple of people that were here. We didn't see it when they were here because we didn't know we were going to do this. But Sailing Advocate had, did this four years ago, and also a guy on um, SV Kessel, I think, is this uh, his boat. They've both 
got that on their mask and they both love the product. So we're pretty excited. So Lee is just doing this, Bella and Lee are washing it with this. And then the next step, we'll have to wait this afternoon because you can't do it while the mask is in the sun or it's hot, so that's okay. A couple of hours, the sun will not be on the mask anymore. So be perfect timing. What about the glare and all of these things? And yes, it's probably not perfect. And in an ideal world, we probably would have painted the mask, but at the moment in our situation we couldn't do that so this is the best next solution yeah it looks pretty good it like the mask looks tough we like it the raw aluminium is is good it's not going to give any other superficial coating over the top how it looks right now is how it's going to look we like it we think it looks tough all right so one of the important things is when you are washing or you're wetting the aluminium it's really important that you wipe any drips off because it changes the color and they'll actually it'll stain the aluminium so we have got some rags and first step is to so we'll be washing it with this and then drying it and then making sure it's completely dry and clean and then applying this afternoon once the sun goes that's a weed kill spray bottle from home depot not very effective when you're doing any car work <laughs> it's really not it doesn't replace a gurney but if you're putting some product in there it's actually it's pretty good for what they're doing right now so this is it, they're just going to put it on, probably do a section at a time, make sure it's nice and clean. It's actually really making the mask look really nice. Washing it down. Can you do anything with the hose here? Shucks all the puppies. They love it. Hi. been down to the local hardware and uh, grabbed a couple of foam rollers, got a little foam spongy thing in my bob. Don't know how it's going to go on yet, never done this before, but there it is, Nylac. We've done all the prep that Sarah's spoken about and we are going to roll this on. We're going to do two coats, two coats recommended. They say you can do one coat, two coats for corrosion and three coats for underwater if something's submerged. We're going to give this a go. We've heard positive feedback from a few people now. Worked out a lot better for us. I think we spent about maybe $350 by the time we got this and a cleaner and bits and pieces, as opposed to thousands of dollars painting it. And a lot less work. And uh, we can see what we've got. Should come up all right. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. So we could have spent, you know, way more time getting it really particular. It's not perfect, but I think it's gonna look tough. It's gonna look great and we're ready. Let's paint this on. A few little bits of paint, you know, we didn't, oh, I just we said didn't that, go too darling. crazy. We're growing the heads off the rivets, so we sort of didn't go too crazy around yeah. there. We got most of it off. It looks pretty, pretty spectacular. It says that one quart, which this is, should cover up to 300 square feet. So if I recall, I think this mass is about 300 square feet. All right, it's going on. Here they so go. Take your time like a foot at a time, Bell. So 
we're just at the end of the mass and we are pretty much that whole bottle was the whole mass so well we had i we think i worked calculated out that pretty well. i think we worked out 320 square feet but we do have the bottom of the mass that goes inside the boat that wasn't that's just staying white so i think minus that i think 300 it says it covers 300 square feet it's right on so our application must be pretty good because we've pretty much got our square footage right and we've nearly used it all up to the square footage so we're spot on with our calculations there so i'm happy with that it looks good this is the first coat so it's the one coat now that they say is fine two coats for corrosion and three coats if it's submerged and i think one more coat on that and it's going to be getting very very late we thought we had time to do another coat but we're nearly there they're right at the end and uh, Lee just got some of the stuff in his eye because he wasn't wearing his safety glasses so remember everyone wear your safety glasses it's very important so we've just had to flush his eye and he's had to keep on going but it's pretty dark they've done a great job Always looks good in the dark. It always looks great in the dark. We can't see, but you know, the first coat looks beautiful. Yesterday we were working right until it got dark. Bella and Lee had head torches on right at the end, finishing the Nihilic. And we got it done. We did two coats on the main mast. It looks well last night in the dark look really good so we're gonna go down and see what it looks like now Lee's already started on the mizzen today's job is to do what we did to the main mast, to the mizzen and to the spreaders so we can put it all back together so let's go Taking a break. We've washed all of the uh, spreaders. They're all hanging up, waiting, ready to paint, and we've just got to wash the mizzen and then paint it. We've probably got three hours of daylight left, so I think we're good. Right, after seeing the mask this morning, because we finished in the dark last night, are you happy? Uh, look, come up like it was done in the dark. It come up pretty good actually. There's no runs, it leveled out really nicely. We've got our two coats on. Well, the spread is a prep. The mizzen is prep. Lee's got a bung knee again. Oh, my knee's gone. I'm getting old. We gotta get out of here because the boat might be looking good, but Lee's falling apart. They've got the booms behind us and we're not doing the booms because we want to get back in the water this century. <laughs> We're done on work now, that's it. So they're not too bad and we can do them whenever. The reason we've had to do the way we've done the mast and that down here is we're just limited with resources and what we can do. But we're the, also uh, goal, out of money. <laughs> the, goal, the goal is just to get the uh, new rigging on so we are strong and safe 
and we're not too worried about the aesthetics of it. And saying that, I actually like the look of the raw, well, not raw, sealed aluminium. Yeah, I like it too. Looks tough. We are all about getting back in the water, not being pretty, but practical. We want to go and have fun. So all the things that are done were priorities because of safety. I think we're doing one thing, one thing that'll look pretty in the next few days, maybe. 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 Stay tuned. What is it? Subscribe guys if you want to find out. And Bella's going to start filming soon again so go over and subscribe to Bella's channel. If you've unsubscribed because she stopped posting well go back over there and subscribe. So they're on the second coat. The first coat looks dreamy. So dreamy. So this is the second coat. Pretty sure we'll get it done before dark tonight. Not like last night. Going on great. So far we love this product. The mizzen looks beautiful. And the spreaders are hanging over here. to the end of the video thank you so much for watching and i need to go and stretch because we've had a massive day in the boatyard lee needs to stretch he's falling apart do i want to end up like lee over there <laughs> you're doing lots of boat work <laughs> and you want to keep nice and limber i'm going to give you a stretch this one's for you dad do it with me we're going to take our hands behind our back if you can't clasp your hands behind your back you're going to grab something an old glove anything and hold on to it with you hands okay then you're gonna drop on your knees put your belly on your chest drop your head tuck your chin make your head nice and relaxed and loose and you take your arms up to the sky and then you take your bum up to the sky but keep your belly on your thighs this is the stretch feels really good after a long day so just in case you've been working on your boat too dad you got into some little weird cupboard do that stretch, you'll feel better. Alright, we love you guys. See you next time!